Alright, welcome back everybody. It's your favorite vampire Aveline here. Guess what? It's here. Alone in the Dark has officially dropped. Now, I may or may not have stayed up a majority of the night waiting for this game to drop, and I may or may not have missed the uh, drop by uh, two hours. I set my alarm for 9.30 Eastern Standard Time this morning, and yeah, I overslept. But we are finally getting into it, and oh my god! I don't mean to, like, I'm just, I'm excited! I'm so excited! Normally I would stream this game, but unfortunately, given the fact that I can't really stream at the moment again, I'm recording it for YouTube. I'm posting it there. This is absolutely fantastic. But in the meantime, let's begin with a new game. So, since I want to focus more, well, usually I want to focus more on the story, but we'll go ahead and do it standard. And then, oh, guidance, that's new. Hmm, do I want to do old school or do I want to do modern? Well, this is the 2024 remake, so... Eh, we'll do modern. I actually never got to play the original. Oh, cutscene! Quiet on the set. That was terrible. Oh, wait, it's crocodile. I'm not gonna So far, the graphics are looking great. So, your uncle. What's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him. Watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult, and now they are also out to kill him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. And here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. All right. 
okay, that was a very interesting cutscene. Definitely gave us a little bit more backstory. And we are actually able to choose which character we want to play. And I have to admit, wow. The graphics are impressive. Very impressive. Like, this is like some Resident Evil shit. Alright, but who could play as Edward Carnby, who is voiced by David Har Harbour, or could play Emily Hartwood, who's voiced by Jodie Comer. Hmm. I say let's go ahead and play as Jody. And then I can go back through on another playthrough and play as um, Edward. Hello? It's so quiet. Where is everyone? This is a big place. Maybe they're on the other side of the house. Stay here. I'll have a look. You really sure that's a good idea? Splitting up? Chapter one. And of course, this is going to be a chapter by chapter playthrough, so I will be playing each chapter as each character um, and uploading it so that way you guys won't get so overwhelmed. Ooh! Like, I know it's dark for you guys. Maybe? Objectives. Look for a way inside the house. Oh, this is fantastic. Like, go off, Nordic. Go off. There's an odor here. Always make sure. And these lights are definitely a little unsettling. Hello. What have we here? What's this? Ooh, a flashlight. And a key. So, we've got the kitchen garden key. Of course, hit R3 to turn the flashlight on and off. Ooh, that's bright. That's very bright. But for now, we'll just leave it off to, like, conserve battery. I'm pretty sure that if we leave it on, we're gonna, like, you know... Did I just come out of here? I don't think I did. That'll... Here? So, we got the flashlight. And we got... Um, the key. Okay. So... L2 is to aim. And I bet you more than anything, R2 is to shoot. But because we're going into a very dark area, it looks like. Ugh! Rats. Nobody likes rats. <laughs> it's like the Call of Duty box. Call of Duty Zombies box. Alright. The hell? What's that? It's only chapter one. I was expecting something to happen a little later. Oh well. I love this. I love that they put so much detail into this. This. Now we can- Oh, hey! There are the crows again! Oh, crows. 
Uh, no. What was that? Huh. Something was just in there. And whatever it is, it's gone now. That's spooky. Go the crows. Oh, look! A locked shed. Oh, look at the detail they put into the flowers. Well, I don't think I'll be able to get in there. Not yet, at least. Well, since this is taking place in New Orleans, might as well swap over. Don't oh, mind me, I'm just your favorite southern vampire. I ain't Snooky though. <laughs> hmm. I get it. We gotta go turn. We gotta put the hose and turn the water on. Oh, well, that's cute. Wait, is that an oil can or gas lamp? Gas lamp. I thought that was a. I thought that was like a magnifying glass, but it wasn't. Can I open the door? Yes. Yes, I can. But before I do, let's go ahead and get this piece. Is there any way I can run? Okay. So we know L1 is to zoom in. No run button? Sprint? Okay, so circle is dodge. Cool. Very cool. Oh well. Okay, so run is left stick. Cool. Cool. Alright, let's head back inside. I probably figured out the puzzle a little early, and I probably have it, you know. There's a set of cards, there's a lighter, and there's an ashtray. Mother! Hmm, that scared the bejeebuses out of me. I'm not gonna deny it. That actually scared the bejeebuses out of me. This must be older than Dursetto. They've built the house around it. There's also some cages up here, too. Take a peek. See if there's anything useful. Nope. But there is something over here. Keeper's key. Well, that's definitely gonna be useful. Oh. Alright, so there we go. Okay, so every time something gets used, it gets taken out of our inventory. John Marcus, 1918, when I get back. Oh. Place is spooky. Ooh! So we got some more ammo, which is good. 
crap. I wanted to go up there. They can let me. That's a little upsetting. Well, somebody had to have been here because there's a couple of drink glasses. There's cards on the table. Can't go in here. Can I go in here? No. Oh. Can't access these doors. Huh. Oh. Well, we did pick up the housekeeper's key. Front door and let Detective Carnby in. Side. Cool. Well, there has to be somebody up top. Don't mind me. I'm just looking around. I'll just take this. Also, can we just appreciate the character design for a brief second? I mean, we have come a very far away from, like, 1992. We've come a very, very far long way. And this is turning out fantastic so far. We're not gonna go in there just yet. We're gonna check over here. Oh shit, that was a rat. And there's our first curse word of the video. Family Bible. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I'm going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of gris, gris Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French Quarter Priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you. Our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm, do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. Okay. That definitely gave us quite a bit. That was very informative very informative and it's like literally like a little audio play in your head and you're like who's that new voice that we've got 
Oh, yay! More bullets! We're gonna need them. Probably. Well, this is a nice kitchen! Let me just... I gotta pan for a second. This is a very nice kitchen. Very nice indeed. Collect the... Uh, collect the... Uh, <laughs> walk around, collect everything. Well, this is survival horror, and I like being as prepared as possible. Yeah, like, that ain't spooky at all. Huh. Ever may the housekeeper be... Oh, they were stewing something. If anything, I can probably just double back to that door. Mm, let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so this is where they slaughtered the pigs and stuff. Oh, hey! Poison. A Great Depression. Oh, so these are sets that we can make? Huh. Okay. I don't know how to pronounce that word, but you know. Beast of Burden. Death of the Author. Dying with Dignity, Lost Children, Prisoner of Ice, Heartwood Curse, Unspeakable Cults. When it makes you worse. A goat without horns. <gasps> what was that? Are non-essential items you can find throughout the game. Complete sets. Shit. Okay. Oh, and they carry over from game to game. So even if I don't find everything as Emily, I can go back through and find stuff as um, Edward. the heck so that just fell open that's all there's a frying pan on the floor huh. I'll be honest with you long tables like this make me nervous they remind me of the kitchen from layers of fear that was super terrifying let's Towards the light. Dead. No, not really a dead end. Hello. That doesn't look safe. Nah, shit. Sabotage a clue. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working, after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Hmm. That's interesting. Also... Surprised by her own reckless decision, Emily found herself breaking into DeSetto. She mulled over how to present her story in case she got caught. 
but couldn't think of anything that sounded convincing. She wasn't much of a fast talker. Best to find a way to open the front door and let Detective Khan be inside so he can handle the situation. So this actually does confirm that when we were playing the prologue that it's Cassandra that's writing this. Oh, I don't have a map. No, I just wanted to, like, bring this up. Like, this is... This is fantastic. Look at this detail. They put a lot of love into this game. And I can greatly appreciate that. Oh, looks like somebody was playing cards. Also, looks like somebody was about to lose. Hmm. So, it's only the decorative plate that was... So, there ain't no way we're gonna be able to get through without the valve. So we gotta go hunt down a valve, and we gotta go hunt down that missing piece. Alright. So. There's that door. Anything else down here? Anything in here? Those are stairs that lead upward. Okay. We're not going up there just yet, though. Ugh. I need a contractor or something. Oh, hello. The cellar door. Going down. I also haven't necessarily found a map yet. I wonder if down here is where I get the map. Goodness, there is a crap ton of rats down here. I'll take those bullets, thank you very much. So I am playing this on standard difficulty, so resources are probably going to be scarce for the most part. What have we got here? Streetcar ticket. Huh. The Crescent City. Cool. What else is there? Oh! Pickles! Back when they canned everything. Pickles, pickles, pickles. Everybody loves pickles. I need the key. that way. But I at least picked something up, so. Alright, let's go let dear old Edward in. Wait, was that? No, that's the door that leads to the boiler room. Did I really just spend the first 30 minutes of this playthrough just, like, exploring? Yes, yes I did. What is that? Means something. Alright, so we're gonna turn that off. Okay, that's what that means. That door's locked. Yoo-hoo! Anybody here? Also, take a look at the details of these magazines. Like, they went all out for this game. It is extremely impressive. I saw a rat. One thing's for sure, this place is infested. They really need to get an exterminator or something out here. This gives me, s not Silent Hill vibes, this gives me Resident Evil vibes. I need the key. Like... I need the key. We got two locked doors, we got a set of stairs, we got one more room that we haven't gone through yet. 
I'm taking my time with this. I want to make sure that I don't miss anything in this game. Definitely a lovely view outside. Lottie's Diary. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. That's disturbing. But it's also kind of like kind of highlighted. So we've got Cassandra's pain medication, which if we remember from the prologue is one of the things that Grace actually commented on. And Grace was playing with the key inside the grand parlor. And then of course the strange rot. These are some key words and we'll probably be able to go look, look back at them later on. Another health drink, so that's five so far. So this is the medicine box. Okay. So that means we gotta go to the grand parlor to get it. But in the meantime, look what we just picked up. We picked up a map. Ouch. Ow. Ah, uh, sorry, I just hit my foot. <laughs> All right, so we have our player position. We have a puzzle, solvable, explored, completed. All right, so we've completed the orderly room. Yazaki? Hmm. Interesting. Ah, oh, what's this? What's this indeed? Oh, it said hold. There we go. We're back in the servant's stairs. So, one of the doors can now be unlocked. But, before we do that, let's go ahead and take an exploration of the upstairs. Let's see what's up here. Yeah, what's... It's wet shut. Wedge shut shit. Go ahead, turn on the light. Private, no entry. It looks important. Just in case something were to come jumping out at me. <laughs> Always move slowly. I need the key. And there we go. So why call it Pizza's key? Oh, so this is overlooking the garden. <gasps> okay. Okay. Fantastic. Because you don't get a lot of characters, like, when you approach a banister, you don't get a lot of characters that'll, ought, like, instinctively put their hand out. Emily instinctively put her hand out. To, like, when I got close to the banister. Also, take a look. Huh. 
Wait, don't. No. Excuse me? Do you know where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? Where are you coming from? Of course not. McCarthy, what are you doing? I told you not to lose sight of the girl. Don't you worry, Mags. I'll find that little rascal. Who are you people? What are you doing here? I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. His name is Jeremy Hartwood. What are you doing, child? You shouldn't be alone. Go find McCarthy. Who are you? Are you here for the Fay Dodo? Go upstairs now. Arr. My name is Emily Hartwood. I, I'm, I'm the niece of Jeremy Hartwood. This is Detective Carnby. The police? Why are you here? No, I'm a private investigator. Sorry to bother you. My client's worried about her uncle. He's a patient here at Dresetto. If you don't mind, could you direct us where to find him? No, I can't. Jeremy has gone missing. If you leave your information, I will make sure to contact you. Wait, he ran away? No, he won't leave the house. He's around here somewhere, and both of our orderlies are looking for him. That's unacceptable. Where's Dr. Gray? I want to speak with him immediately. Fine. I'll ask him. Wait here and don't touch anything. Do you want to see Jeremy's room? Can you show us? Follow me. <laughs> All right. Okay, that door wasn't open during the prologue. Why are we trusting the little kid? But I guess we kind of got no choice. Thank you. Grace, don't be so rude. Strange kid. Mm. Let's look around, see what we can find. We're now searching Jeremy's room for clues. Well, that was odd. Where did everybody else come from? There was nobody else in the bottom part of the house. Okay, need the key for that. I bet you I know where that piece is. That's a conversation. Okay. The commonplace book? Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity, staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawea. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Signora Pierosi, back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Scenes conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Signora. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulcher where you may rest, and I shall weep. Oh, so we actually have to play this one. How did you first come to understand such things, Signora? How did you know that the battered boil in the basement would lead me to Lafayette Cemetery? Or how the old upstairs clock with its astronomical motifs would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont Harbor? Those are my memories, my past. 
Is there perhaps a chance, if ever so small, for me to see Terawaya? Oh, I want that more than anything. Please, let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with Juan under his Bodhi tree. Despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had to travel to Tonka. Instead, she cruelly told Baptiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way, that the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear, and that he would be devoured by his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. Mm, I don't know. She's predicting the future. She's predicting his death. The people of Deseto are becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up in treating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine and conversation? The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world. All will be lost. Everything. Unless I can find the clerk, Mr. Waite. He seems to be a clear-thinking man. Maybe Beauregard. The dark man offered me a prison, and I accepted I signed that miscarried contract and entered a dark pact. Everyone is safe, except for me. And these let us know... Okay. So we could definitely come back to this. And we got a piece of the uh, box. Cool. First. Well, there's the first glitch of the game. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> I found a commonplace book. What's that? A notebook with all kinds of stuff in it. Do you know a place called Tarawea? Never heard of it. Is it close? I have no idea. It just seems like it was a place Jeremy wanted to visit. Hmm. Good to know. All right. Well, there's that. Cool. Very easy puzzle. Hello. Gimme, gimme, gimme. What's this? Have you ever seen anything like this? Looks like a talisman. You mean like this one? Can you find me a knife to cut the canvas? I want to take this with me. You want to take the painting? Sure, I'll find one. You can actually see the fear in his eyes. He knew what was going to happen to him. Please don't tell me we're gonna get dragged into the painting. I found this tube as well. Should keep it safe for you. Uh, the painting's gone. Do you want to carry it or should I? Miss Hartwood. Emily. I'll take it. Thank you. We're done here, right? I'm not sure. I don't know how to do any of this. Listen, I think we should talk to Dr. Gray. He must know something about what's going on around here. Okay. Let's do that. OK. 
Come on, I don't want to be here all night. And she is undeniably spooked, which I don't... Detective Carnby? W where did... If this ain't spooky enough. Cause now we got a Silent Hill vibe. Oh, let's also check out this corner and see if there's anything here. Ooh. Bet you the moment she started staring into that painting, she just teleported. Bugs. I can't do bugs. Well, somebody was not happy with that. to get close. There we go. Headshot! Alright. Nope. Nope. I'm trapped! I'm trapped! Alright. We're making a red fort. We're making a red fort. Screw that. Screw that. Screw that. Is that weren't worth the bullets? I can't go that way. <laughs> this can't be. Okay. Where's that damn corner store? Down here. Cool, cool, cool. Oh. Can't get in. Now what's this? Oh, but y'all can be beaten to death. My weapon broke. Come on, poke your head out. How dare you? Woo! Got it! What the hell was that thing? What the hell was that thing indeed? <laughs> All right. Well, I'll take that. Oh, uh, the door's over here. I feel dumb. And there is actually a stamina system, too, so. was absolutely terrifying. Is this where I came out of? Yes. Yes, it is. This is where I came out of. Undo the restock. 
always, always go back through. But no, I can't go this. I can't go this way. That fog. No. There's a pickle cart. Ooh. Oh! That's what they're talking about. Now I know what they mean. Okay, be on the lookout for items like that. Pick up health drink. Bullets. Is anything here? Just because I want to come out and explore and not have a way. I can't go that way. Fight. Okay. things. Johnny the Conqueror. Roots and medicine. Anybody home? Emily, is that you? Batiste? How'd you get here? I was back at Dorsetto, looking for my Uncle Jeremy. Jeremy's your uncle? I didn't know. Why would you? You're still working at Dorsetto? Yeah, both me and Lada stuck around. We're real orderless now. Y you remember my sister Lada, don't you? What happened, Batiste? How are we here? You know about the dark man haunting your uncle? I'm familiar with his mental state. I think we all in his head somehow. Because these streets are real, but they're not like on any map. Nah, this is like when you remember something. But in the wrong way. Do you know how to get back to Dorsetto? I'm not safe here. Truer words have yet been spoken, Mrs. Marcus. Don't call me that. It's Miss Emily Hartwood. There's no reason to call me anything else. I'm sorry, Miss Emily. I'm just trying to tell you like it is. This place ain't safe for no one. There's evil hiding in the dark. How do I get back? Only Jeremy knows how. He has this juju necklace guiding him. You mean this talisman? Mm-hmm. Just like it. He says it's been protecting him. Ever since he got it from Miss Jackson down the street. You know where it came from? Have you been there? I was there no more than one hour ago looking for Jeremy. Locked it up to keep the ghouls from getting inside. You can have the key if you want. Thank you. I'll take a look. Stay safe, miss. All right. Batista's keys. So now we've managed to find, walk up to well, So now we've managed to find somebody that we know and are comfortable with, which is good. Preserved reptile. The a goat without horns. Okay. There's also a chest here. But nothing inside. Yoo -hoo! Oh, cool. We can explore this. Great. First, 
Let me get them pistol bullets. Let me, like, top off. Let's see if there's any interesting bits of lore. Because what we're in, we're actually inside a voodoo shop. Are you staying here? For a while. Want to see if Jeremy shows up. Because this game does take place in New Orleans. It says it's just down the street. Oh gods, there's more of them. Shoot the legs! Just like a Resident Evil. I keep missing my shots! That took way too many bullets. Uh, there was also another, like, brick down there that I could have just grabbed and just, like, thrown it at the guy. more bullets. That only gives me like 11 shots though. Cool. Alright. Oh no! Damn it. Alright, so we just hit an auto save point. Definitely voodoo happening here. Oh, well that was still rendering. What's over here? More bullets, yay! <laughs> oh, right there. There it is. Nope. Uh-uh. Uh, 
Might as well go ahead, drink a tonic. Oh. That's where it is. Can I get you to jump down here so that way I can go ahead and peg you? Oh. Oh, that's flammable. Okay. Fight, and I've only got six bullets left. I'm out of bullets. Time to run. Okay, what am I supposed to do now? Run? Okay, we're gonna run. And get the fuck out. Nope. Isn't what I need though. Go this way? No. I made a very big mistake. I ran out of bullets and I don't know if I can find any more. Okay, run for extended periods of time. Close, 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 close. Imelik. Of course, my map is no use here. Not go through this door. I did not realize that these things respawn. Crap. Gives it the survival horror aspect, a real survival horror aspect. So you ain't gonna have to fight every single enemy. Because I made the rookie mistake of emptying an entire clip using what I had left. Instead of luring the doggone thing down the stairs and then hitting it with the bottle. That's definitely interesting. It's fine. It's fine. I'll figure a way out. So it looks like I'm gonna have to sprint the rest of the way. Oh, oh shit. Both enemies respawned. Anything down here that I can go no. And I don't want to back myself up into a corner! Just stuck.
Hello. And some more bullets, but that's only like three bullets. I don't know. I can't go that way. So, note to self. Don't use all your bullets in one go. Cool. Is this thing stuck? What? Ow. Okay, what was it to... those bullets. Insert bullets. Insert bullets. Jackson's place. Let's see if we can find out more about Jeremy's talisman. But first, let's take a second to let catch our breath and everything. Holy crap, that was terrifying. That was very terrifying. And I don't like the bird cages that's all over the place. It looks exactly like Jeremy's talisman. In between there are doors an old talisman shaped over centuries the engraving of the numbers looks to be less than a hundred years old but the base could be from antiquity the polished black sunstone in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives off the impression of hiding a picture within within itself huh. There's no handle on that door. There's no handle on that door. This is the room of someone who is comfortable with their craft. And I'm not saying that as a bad thing. I'm saying that as um, Miss Jackson, whoever they are, they are very confident. They know their power. And this room, let me do a slow pan, sorry. This room tells that story. Like, check out the pictures, you've got pictures up here. All the candles, the ingredients, everything. Is there something in here? Nope. It's not even letting me interact with it. All right. Well, I think it's meant to hold the talisman. Yep, there we go. And then Okay. I'm not sure what numbers I should use. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. There it is. Okay. Eight, five, and three from the looks of it. Eight, five, and three.
Okay. Okay, let's reset this thing. I can't remember the numbers off the top of my head now. There we go. There's always three numbers. So eight, five, and three. There we go. What's that picture in the glass? Where is that? Hello. We now have a big glowing door. The door is unlocked. I'm wondering. Good to see you again, Miss Hartwood. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. She also alerted me that you brought a detective with you. I'm very curious to hear what this is all about. You don't remember me, do you, Miss Hartwood? We met at your family's house in the Garden District when your uncle was about to be admitted under my care. No, I remember. Sorry. I'm not really feeling well. Oh, well, in that case, have a seat. Let me make you a drink. I don't seem to have made much of an impression on you. On the other hand, I can vividly recall you and your parents. Because of our cheerful disposition, I'm sure. You are far too intelligent to think that. You come from a joyless family, Miss Hartwood. The only amusement I took from my visit was discovering that the young lady's drink was an old-fashioned. Very astute. Is that supposed to make you seem attentive or intelligent? Whatever you prefer. Are you ready to tell me why you are here, Miss Hartwood? And why you brought a detective? I received a letter from my uncle. He seemed certain that he was in danger here. If I find out you're treating him badly, I'll be taking him back with me to New Orleans. Really? Is he going to live with you in your tiny garçonniere? That would be a spectacular way to ratify your spinsterhood. Because you are well aware that your father would never let him back in his house. No, I have it. Maybe you can bring him back up north. You've been wanting to move back for quite a few years, haven't you? You always preferred your mother side of the family. Jeremy is free to leave with you. I won't object. However, there is one problem, as you might have learned. He is, in fact, missing. Do you know where he could have gone? No, I'm afraid I don't. 
I have my staff looking for him. I'm sure he will show up eventually. Especially if he learns that you are here. He is quite fond of you. What can you tell me about his condition? I never heard a proper diagnosis. What is your medical opinion of him? Well, let me think. He is an anxious man. Depressed, even. He suffers from a perceived lack of order in his inner and outer life. He constantly complains about events not presenting themselves according to their divine nature. In the Dark Man? Hard to tell if it was ever anything specific. Jeremy uses the Dark Man as a psychological scapegoat to avoid facing the truth that he is in any way at fault. You don't think there can be any truth to the Dark Man's... supernatural existence? Why would you ask that? I... Can we ever be sure? If the Dark Man is some sort of evil presence that is in possession of Jeremy? Well... I assure you, any evidence that you experience supporting that claim is purely delusional. Don't get caught up in mass hysteria, Miss Hartwood. You wouldn't want to take your uncle's place in this hospital, would you? Uh, I'll be leaving now, Doctor. I need to keep looking for my uncle. Do so, Miss Hartwood. I'll let you know if he shows up. And we have now reached Chapter 2. Detective Carnby! God, I'm... I'm glad to see you. I was afraid you had left. Me? You're the one who just disappeared. It's... hard to explain. I think I blacked out. I, it was like I went somewhere else. It's okay, miss. You're clearly upset. No, it's... I don't know what's happening. I, this is a very stressful situation for you, I understand. Ugh, no, you don't understand. Just take a deep breath. Why don't you sit down, smoke some of the Perique. If you want, I could even drive you back to New Orleans. I just want to have a talk with Dr. Gray first. I want to stay. I found a talisman just like the one in the painting. I think I might be able to figure out where Tarawea is, where Jeremy wanted to go. That's great. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Let me handle the investigation. I'm not crazy, Detective. Not yet. <laughs> okay, catch you later. Okay. If a talisman like this can open up doors between the French Quarter and Dorsetto, then maybe Jeremy is hiding in some strange other world, like Tarawea, the place he mentioned in the book. No matter where he is, it's clear that my search won't be limited to Dorsetto. Okay. <clears throat> Don't mind me. So now that we've hit chapter two with Emily's point of view, I'm gonna stop it here. I have to say the voice acting of this game, on point, absolutely fantastic. TH Nordic, go off, go off, please and thank you. Like, this is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. It draws me in and it holds me here. But, I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be stopping here with Emily's point of view. I'll probably see if I can start another save file and start off from Edward's point of view next. And probably try to do both of them in tandem with each other to, so that way you guys get to see like both of them rather than doing one before the other. But that's if I can figure it out. But in the meantime, I hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough so far. I'm definitely enjoying this game. I've been looking forward to this game for the past couple of weeks since I played the prologue and it is fantastic. I will admit I am a little mad at myself that I made the same mistake as I did in Tormented Souls is that I used up all of my um all of my ammo 
but it's got a good feel to it. The combat system's very, like, Resident Evil-like, in a way. It's also got a bit of the Sinking City, which is another combat system. So, if we're gonna pick up other weapons later on, like other guns, we'll definitely be looking forward to that. But so far, fantastic. The combat scared me quite a bit. The creatures, terrifying. Very much terrifying. Like, I don't like them. I don't like them at all. <laughs> but fantastic design so far. But anywho, I'm going to see if I can play Edward's point of view and I will have that video up probably... Hmm, probably Friday? I'm breaking my schedule a little bit since I did play um, Hercule Poirot's the law, uh, first case is yesterday. I did drop that video yesterday. If you want to like take a look at it, go right on ahead. <laughs> it's my favorite game series so far. But anywho, I hope y'all have enjoyed so far. Please leave a like and subscribe and I'll catch y'all later. So later. Bye. Mwah!